First of all, notice my hands are like really swollen because all the blood's in them right now. Uh, <laughs> they look like mittens. What's going on guys? Today is deadlifts, favorite day of the week. I'm doing 725, 330 kilograms for three sets of three. Uh, this week for deadlifts is considered a reload week, a deload week. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, figure eight lifting straps. They look like a number eight. For those who aren't familiar, I'm sure most of you aren't unless you're a big follower of Strongman or do Strongman. Um, this is my first time using figure eight lifting straps and I'm sold already. Mind you, only have two reds on each side of the bar, so the weight's very light. But what I love about these is the quick setup and how you can get the strap very quickly, exactly where you want it on the bar. An issue I have with normal straps that you loop around is I always feel like one hand is slightly off center than the other hand, and it always fucks with my head. Because when you get heavy, even a half inch or an inch of one hand too far to one side can make you feel off balance. Um, and also, this, these straps, allow your hands to open up like this, reducing the range of motion, you have to pull the bar by three, four inches. With regular straps, you have to lock in here. So you got about this much, you're going from here with regular straps to here with big great lifting straps. And what that looks like here, normal lifting straps, regular, uh, sorry, big weight lifting straps. And what it looks like on the setup, take this uh, big weights off. This is what it looks like with normal straps, right? If you look at the position of my back and my chest, but with figure eights, you see guys see that? Normal, look at my back, figure eight. So you're starting from a higher position. The higher you start, the more you'll be able to pull, right? Just like if you do a deficit, if you stand on something like a plate, you're increasing the range of motion and increasing the difficulty. But this is doing the opposite. You're decreasing the range, decreasing the difficulty. Um, now, some of you may already be advanced with and very in tune with how your body feels, even with very light weight. Uh, but I can tell just with two reds that I'm gonna be able to pull more with these straps than mixed grip and regular straps, 100%. I can already tell. You know, after years of training, you can tell with very lightweight, you don't have to go to 90, 95%. You don't have to get close to a winter match. You can tell just with a little weight on the bar, the difference these make. So. Very excited to see what I can end up pulling with these on.
Alright, today feels fine. Um, feels great. Only thing is, got really scraped up my shins pretty bad. This particular barbell, the knurling is really rough. So, because <clears throat> after the first set, I scraped up my shins pretty bad. And in the next couple of sets, I don't want to scrape up any worse. So, I was pulling a bit of weight from me. So, the, the weight was in front of me. I wasn't letting it get close enough. So with deadlift socks, 
basically I can get the bar as close to me as possible, which is ideal. I want the weight behind the bar after all. So it'll feel better with some Delve socks on. I won't be so conscious about scraping at my shins. But today was more about getting used to the figure eight lifting straps, which I feel like I have. Um, getting used to different pulling position. It feels great on the warmups because I can attack it with a lot of confidence. And because my shins weren't scraped to shit, but as it got heavier, my shins got my shins started getting scraped up pretty bad. And I was getting too worried about that. And also, when it got heavier, I adjusted the strap a little bit um, in a slightly different position than it was in the warm-ups. And it just felt like uh, it was gonna slip out of my hand a bit. So I wasn't attacking the bar as aggressive. So basically just a little more repetition with the bigger lifting straps and Dell has to go a long way. guys first time doing behind the back barbell hold 190 so it's a little more than 400 pounds double overhand of course um, nothing but chalk very very difficult I've always been very confident in my grip strength considering I pulled over 900 from the floor a few times without um, my grip failing only thing that would happen is my cows would tear but my grip strength would always hold so this is a bit humbling, considering I've only been one set of 30 seconds and I got two more left. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna make it through the other two sets, but uh, grip strength is very important for every exercise. Everything that involves pulling or pushing, it, the stronger your grip strength, the better. The more you squeeze the bar, the more you activate your upper arm, your triceps, um, even when you're using straps, having a good grip strength helps. You don't want to strap up and just let your hands be dead and uh, limp. Even with straps, you want to grip the bar tight. So, one of the events I have coming up at Wembley is a Hercules hold. So, you got two giant weights here to here, right? And it's going to be pulling my trying to pull my fingers open currently mark Thielus holds the world record he's unbeatable coming in second will be thor so it's clear big hands make a big difference but since i don't have two giant pillars to hold like this i'm doing this to train the event Come on. Ah. Oh. Oh. Uh. 
fuck. Ah. Ah. Safe to say, these behind the neck bar, behind the back barbell holds are probably the most painful and difficult exercise I've ever done. Um, when your grip is giving out and mentally you're not, it's probably like one of the worst feelings. It's like your fingers are opening up when you're <laughs> when you don't want them to, but your body's fighting against you because mentally. You're committed to the pain and done. committed to the set, 30 seconds or however long you need to hold it. But shit, it's it's difficult. Um, I tore my callus completely last week. It wasn't deep. As you see, first of all, notice my hands are like really swollen because all the blood's in them right now. Uh, <laughs> they look like mittens. Um, but I felt it raising up just a little bit here. You can even see it. Uh, it's not fully healed. It's still kind of tender right here. So this hand was the first to open up. This one was, was fine. This one could have made it. This one was actually fully on the bar, fully wrapped. And this one was like this, the final few seconds. So that just means the callus needs more healing. Even when I was delting today with the figure eights, this hand, um, I felt this side come up a little after this side. And I think it's because of the pain psychologically, even though I'm not focusing on it. As soon as I put all my force into the barbell, I notice like this side's coming up before this side. This is the torn callus that's still healing. This one is totally 100% fine. So point is, it's gonna be good next week when I need it to. Today was just supposed to be a light deadlift week. Just 335 for three sets of three. Um, Felt strong, still getting accustomed to the big rates. But overall, I feel confident with it. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to Wembley in July and look forward to a collab with Brian Shaw and I. As long as he's available, I'm gonna do my best to make that happen. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, drop a comment, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you more next week.